Hello curious minds, welcome to Space Lab. Today we will see how to use a four digit display to show numbers or words. Every cell of this display consists of seven segments. We can think of these segments as of small LEDs. Now we already know what we have to do to light an LED. Just set the voltage to high. The same principle works with the digit display. You can construct whatever numbers or even letters you want to see by turning on and off particular segments. Let's see how it works. So this is a four digit seven segment LED with its four digits and each digit has seven segmented LEDs on it. This has 12 different pins which are connected from underneath it and which are need to be placed on the breadboard. These pins are numbered from one to six and then 7 to 12 on the other side. Each of these pins address each of these LEDs on one of the segments and four of these pins address which of the digit we choose. If we want to display multiple digits simultaneously then it undergoes something called multiplexing where each of the digits are switched on simultaneously or one at a time at such a high speed that we see them all blinking together. Let's see how to make the connections. For this, we would need the Arduino, the breadboard, the four digit seven segmented LED and 12 wires. Connect the pin 11, which is on the top side of your seven segmented LED. to the port 2 on your Arduino. Connect port 7 from your segmented LED to port 3 on your Arduino. Connect the fourth pin of your segmented LED to the port 4 on your Arduino. Connect the port 2 of the segment segmented LED to the port 5 on the Arduino. Connect the pin 1 of the segmented LED to the port 6 on your Arduino. Connect the 10th pin of your 7 segment LED to the port 7 of your Arduino. Connect the 5th pin of your LED to port 8 of the Arduino. Connect the 12th pin from the 7 segmented LED to port 9 of the Arduino. Connect the pin 9 of your 7 segmented LED to the port 10 of your Arduino. Connect the 8th pin of your 7 segmented LED to port 11 of your Arduino. And connect the sixth pin of your LED to port 12 of your Arduino. Let's see how the programming is written. Every cell of this display consists of seven segments. We can think of these segments as of small LEDs. Now we already know what we have to do to light an LED. Just set the voltage to high. The same principle works with the digit display. You can construct whatever numbers or even letters you want to see by turning on and off particular segments. Say you want to write the letter C. Then you'll need to turn on the following segments. If you want to write the letter O, then you'll have to add one more segment 
Now let's transfer this knowledge to our sketch and try writing the word cool. For one digit we have seven segments, so we have to attribute a pin to every segment as if they were LEDs. On this display we have four digits, so we'll need to distinguish them as well. Therefore we'll make four more variables for the pins that will help us to do this. In the setup part, one after another, we'll set our pins to output. Now let's write. Letter by letter we'll display the word cool. We'll start writing on the first digit, so we have to give Arduino a signal by setting voltage on D1 to high. The first letter is C. To make a C, we'll need to turn on the segments A, F and D. The rest stays turned off. Now let's write O. It consists of the same segments as C plus segments B and C. Let's copy our code for the first letter and change it a little. Also, don't forget that we don't want to override the first digit, but want to turn on the second. The third letter is also O, so we'll copy the previous part and change the digit to D3. And the last letter is L, which consists of segments F, E and D. We want to write this letter on the fourth digit. Let's also add some animation to our display. First, we'll add a small delay between displaying the digits, say half a second. And then we'll also clear all we have written at the end of the loop, so that Arduino starts writing everything from the very beginning. Let's copy our code and turn all the segments off for every digit. We'll also make the delay longer after the last digit was written, so it lingers for, say, 3 seconds. Now let's test it. So we wanted to write the word cool. Can you read it? Me neither, but why? Some displays are anodic and some displays are cathodic. And you never know which one you have. So in case it doesn't make sense, just try changing the low values to high values and vice versa. We reversed all the values in our code and tried it again. And now we can see without saying how Arduino programming is. What port or number would you display? Share with us in the comments below. Subscribe to our videos and stay tuned for more Arduino tutorials. See you next time!